You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome to Rom Wills About That Business. Maintain your budget. Now, this is very important, especially, you know, in my previous podcast on here, I talked about uh, saving more than you spend. Really, to even get to that point, or even if you're not, you know what, you might be that type, you like, yeah, Rom, that sound good, but I don't mind spending this money. Or even if you're at a type, you minimum wage, let's go with that minimum wage thing, so you can't save more than you spend, and you're barely making it in everything. The key to it all is money management. It's your budget and sticking to that budget. Now, it'd be nice if you can create a lot of savings with it, but you might not. You might be able to put a little bit away or you might even be at a point where you can just do whatever. You you can just, uh, like the most you can do is just, uh, eh, you just can't save any money. <laughs> put it like that. But maintaining your budget, managing your money. Now, what is your budget? Now, one of the ways I do a ba- is this is a basic thing. Okay, you know you got to do your rent or mortgage every month. You might have to deal with your car. If Even if you got a car, you still want to have to legally have some type of insurance. Uh, you might or might not. Most people got some type of medical insurance. They got to pay that. You know, you got to keep the lights on in your place in many places. Sometimes you have some uh, rental pl- properties that they'll pay the electricity for you. You know, so that's still part of it. But many other people, even if they rent the property, still got to pay the utilities. And if you got a, your own house, you got to pay utilities. All right. So thing is, all right. So you're making some money. OK, you deal with all that basic stuff first. You deal with all that basic stuff first. But then when you get to the extra stuff, you're going to have to budget it. Man, you have to maintain that budget like uh, clothing. They say you might have to put a little bit and say, okay, this is how much I'm making. This is how much I got left. I might need uh, clothing or something. Here's, here's how much I'm going to put in the budget. You might have to look around, find some sales, find like maybe more discount type of stores to get that clothing. But you can still do it. It's still important. Your food budget, that's very important. A lot of people's extra money going to food because, you know. You might, you know, walking along, you see that little fancy restaurant or something. The smooth food food smells good. You want to go in there, but you got to be able to budget for that thing. It's like, okay, can I afford this? Can I afford it this week? You know, and and the thing about uh, your budget is you got to be disciplined with that. You know, I've talked about discipline before. But you got to be disciplined with it. See, the budget makes you disciplined with that money. And it tells you, okay, you already know what you got to spend it on. One, it helps you, you know, you don't be a spendthrift. Like some people, they get in trouble because they'll spend, they'll buy stuff or buy extra. But then when their bills come due or the thing they needed the money for, they don't have it. They, that's, that's a total lack of discipline. And, you know, I'm talking about this because, you know, as I said in my other one, I was talking in my last one, I said, you know, you can be a nine to five or an entrepreneur. Now, regardless of what you are, you got to have the discipline. You got to have that budget. Now, it's actually easier with a nine to five because you already know you should have a general idea how much you're going to make every week or every two weeks or however they pay you. Uh, just a general idea. So it's easy to make a budget. And then, you know, you you can even, like, budget in, like, any extra money you get maybe from overtime and, you know, or savings if you can follow the advice I had in my previous podcast. But especially as an entrepreneur, you got to maintain a budget, especially because the reality is you're not going to get paid the same. Like, just for example, what I made this year, every single month, I got a different number, right? I, now, there was a baseline I got every month, which is cool. But beyond that, now, the, one of the things is I'm maintaining that because I have a budget. I make sure my first priority is paying, like, my basic bills. So then when I get past that, then... There's a priority to uh, save a certain amount of money. That's part of the budget, too. So those are the two main things. I'm paying myself, 
I'm paying myself and paying my utilities. And then after that, then that's extra. And even then, it's like, okay, how much am I budgeting to spend on this or that? You know? Okay, I'm budgeting this much. This is how much I'm going to spend. This is only how much I'm I'm going to do that. It brings you discipline. It helps you to move you along. And especially for entrepreneurs, because you got to maintain that discipline. You got to maintain that discipline. You got to maintain that budget. You got to be disciplined in that. So that's a very key. That's a that's a very key thing. So anyway, what y'all think about get that budget together every month, write it out, write your bills out. You know, anything extra or like, you know, you might have uh, some extra you have to pay on a particular month. Make sure that's part of the budget too. Stick with it. Stick to it. Have your fun after you take care of everything first and then get ready for the next month. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Let's go make that money.